Hey, hey, João Capella here, your performance and mental coach for dance sport. Today, I want to talk to you about one thing that I tell to all my dance sport coaching clients or dancers and also in my lectures. is this simple phrase that I want you to take uh, very attention and very careful. Let's study what this sentence says and I'm sure it will help you a lot on the next competition, on the next performance, okay? What I usually say is, is when the competition starts is when you should stop competing. Okay, I will repeat. When the competition starts is when you should stop competing. This is very powerful and it, it will help you a lot, but it's important to understand what this means. Okay? What, what, should, what am I telling you when I say when the competition starts is when you should stop competing? What this means? I should not dance when I go to a competition? Uh, no, it's not that. What happens is that when you go to the competition, your mind and your emotional state should not be in a competition state, but in a performance state. When you go to dance, you don't want to compete. You want to perform, okay? It's very dif different and this simple switch in words, it will make a lot of good things, it will make amazing things inside your performance. Because if you are in a competing mode, you are not fully focused on your performance, you are more focused in beating someone, in achieving some result, in be careful with something in your technique, in your routine, or you are worried with the past, the past competition or something. You are not totally in the present, okay? So, I will explain you a little bit more. There are two kinds of dancers in this kind of situation. When, when you go to a competition, how do you know that you are focused on the competition mode, you are in a competition mode in, and not in a performance mode? How do you know? Okay, one is you or you are very mental and very logical. What this means? You think a lot. And the people that, that is mental, that is very logical, usually they go to the competition and they are thinking, okay, I should finish in uh, third place or I should do semi-final, so I will get enough points to achieve my goal uh, in the international or national ranking. Uh, or you are thinking something like this, last month, last two competitions, I was uh, I had this couple and today I want to beat this couple because I w I'm working hard and I want to beat this couple and I will get angry if I don't, don't beat this couple. Or, or you, you think too much. You think in the results, you think in the numbers, I should go to the final. If I don't go to the final, it will be very difficult to, to on the next competition to achieve what I want. Okay? And so, this is one way that you know that you are not in a performance mode, but you are in a competition mode and not a good mode, okay? You are very logical. The other way is when you are too much emotional, but in a bad emotional state, okay? For example, if you are anxious, if you are frustrated, if you are nervous, okay? But really putting you down um, sometimes you get uh, we get frustrated on the competition because you just see a great couple arriving and then you get oh my god it will be difficult against him and immediately your energy levels and your motivation goes down right or because something happened and you don't feel so much energy as you wanted and then you get frustrated or you are afraid the fear is a very powerful uh, thing uh, like if you if you see that there are many good couples you then you get you are fear you are afraid that you are not able to reach your goal for that competition and then you are in a bad emotional state and then you will be more close more into yourself and oh, and then of course you will not perform so well and this is also because you are focused on the competition you are in the competition mode you are very 
you are paying more attention in the, what are others on the others on the other couples and you, or even you are uh, paying attention what others people would say or will say about your performance so you are with this competition mode okay and this will get you in a bad emotional state and these are the mainly two uh, personalities that uh, or the ways that you know that you are in a competition state and not in a performance state okay so what can you do to be in a performance state and not in a competition state okay this is very simple you just have to switch your competition mode to a peak state you want to be in a peak state but before that just, just let me just remember you the competition should stop and i said when you when you should when you start competing your competition is when it stops what this means is that the competition is on your practices on when you are training and practicing is when you are focusing on this okay or is when you are uh, making your goals on the next competition i want to achieve this result is when you are changing routine changing appro approaches to your routine is when you are tr trying new things right but one week before the competition you don't change the routine anymore at least is what i usually uh, advise and on the competition day you should avoid to be in this state of mind when you are planning and preparing you don't plan on the day you plan before when you go you just have to feel that yeah, I am prepared, okay? I am prepared and I don't need to worry with anything else. Everything will come automatically, okay? Is why I said when the competition starts is when you should stop competing. Your competition was already done on the practice, on the dance club. Is there is where you push yourself, you try, you change, you, you experiment new things. You go to the competition, you stick to your routine, you stick to your, to your plans, you stick to what you already have practiced, okay? You don't change. Because when you are on the competition mode, it, there is a lot of chances that you will change something in your routine, on your approach. Because you are in a competition mode, you are paying attention, there is a better couple, oh, uh, I have to achieve a better result, something, it is, it's bad something is difficult so I have to do something extra and this is what will kill your performance because you are focused on other things you will get anxious you'll get afraid and then immediately your brain will tell you okay let's let's fight back let's change something let's change something on our choreography let's start our routine in a different point let's give too much energy uh, because you need to be much more uh, energetic on the routine and then what happens is that your performance will get hurt okay so you don't want to be in the competition mode you want to be in a peak state mode that is totally different and how you achieve that to be in a peak state mode you have to be totally in the present here you are just focusing yourself in your partner in what is happening in the moment in your body in the music and nothing else you don't think on the future the results you don't think on the past what happened on the last competition you don't think on the other couples oh they, they look great they look bad i don't care you only care about yourself and on the present mode for that you start by doing 10 strong dips there's 10 strong dips breathings okay when you breathe strongly and deep into your diaphragma you are doing like a reboot in your brain you are deleting everything else and bringing yourself to the present so you are just there and you breathe very quickly through your nose out through your mouth Do this 10 times, very strong, very into your uh, belly, your stomach, and you'll feel much, much better. This is what I already teach in my bio, by, by, uh, by IP technique or also in my uh, on the floor 
uh, routine. I have a pre-competition routine, what you should do as soon as you arrive in the dance hall competition. But I also have, uh, and I will, I will film a future video on my on the floor routine. What you have to do five minutes before you go to the, to the competition to be in the peak state. And this is also one of the techniques is the breathing okay you just breathe then you just move around do strong movements quick movements like this touch your body do something strong arms up something jump don't be close uh, walk quickly run do something and smile okay last but not <laughs> less important smile smile from here to from one side to the other, the other. don't just uh, smile like this smile lose your eyes and really feel why you are smiling because I love to dance, because I love what I'm doing, because I can't wait to go to the dance floor. Boom, smile, okay? Okay, so when the competition starts is when you should stop competing, okay? So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also go to my website, there is a link if you are on my YouTube, just go to the link, go to my website, and leave a comment what do you do when you when you are on the competition to get on the peak state and what do you think about this this sentence when the competition starts is when you should start competing leave my comment and share this video i want i really want to help as much dance sport dancers as possible so help me on that okay have a great and happy dance sport life bye bye <laughs>